Bentley, welcome to Daytona Beach. Well, it's always fun to be here. Well, I own a saloon in Maine. I got a trucking company. I'm an old man, older than dirt. <laughs> um, and I love what? life. I've driven race cars. I've done all kinds of stuff. Um, I guess my highlight of my racing career was Indianapolis, running Indianapolis two times. Um, but also winning a lot of races just all over the country, you know, just super modified races, sprint car races, just all kinds of wonderful things that have happened to me, just following my way. When did you start with motorcycles? Eight years old, my father gave me the first Harley Davidson. When you were eight, you got your first yeah. Harley? I couldn't reach the ground with, a, with my feet, and I used to have to start on a stone wall. <laughs> Don't you wish you still had that? Yeah, I do. I do. <laughs> It'd be worth some bucks now. But yeah, I had a good time with it. He, he used to ride a lot. He dumped it one day coming in the driveway, and they let me have it. He used to ride it after that, but he, uh, he let me have it. All right. So, Bentley's, how did you get up to Maine? Uh, I met a girl up there about 30 years ago, and uh, I moved up there, bought a house, and um, been there ever since. Then the reason I got in the saloon, my ex-wife, um, her son got killed on a bike in 2000, 2001 I think it was, and uh, I got it mainly for her just to try to help her, you know, with her loss, to try to keep her busy and stuff like that. It just didn't work out and then I ended up having it myself and I just built it in a mushroom into a big thing and I was huge. Yeah. But I was still working on it. It's, it's, I just wanted to make it a place that I've been all over the place and um, you used to go into a restaurant or a bar or something and they'd see you come in on a bike and you look like scooter trash and they'd treat you like scooter trash and say they were full and this and that and I said, well there's plenty of seats over there. I don't know, they were all reserved and they almost wouldn't let you in but would get in but I mean, I said, I want to have a place that's friendly for everybody, bikers and, and everybody and we've made it that way. So you, you become quite, you've on, almost become your own attraction up there, for those of you that don't know Bentley's. I mean, this is like a bike event that goes from spring to fall, right? Pretty much. If it's, if it's good weather, there's a lot of bikes come in, and it's just a, it's a real friendly atmosphere. And, and everybody, the new people that come in make it as friendly as it's been and even more friendly. It's just, it just it keeps sort of like I said before mushrooming. It's just it's it's a snowball and just it seems to get bigger and better and, and everybody that comes in makes it better. So uh, do you have events there? I mean, do you do runs and yeah, or? we have bike runs. We have charity runs. We have bike shows and every every weekend it's a bike show, even though it's not a per se written down bike show. It's a bike show because all the people come in. There's maybe 500 bikes or more. And, uh, on a weekend, just, there's 500 or more bikes there? Oh, yeah. And, and just they come in and everybody loves, it's like a bike show because they all like to look at each other's bikes. And they're from probably four or 500 miles, from, from zero miles to four or 500 miles on a regular basis. And uh, they just come up because it's a destination now. And just everybody likes to look at everybody's bike, you have the camaraderie about their motorcycles, about their exhaust pipes. And the way we set it up, we got it so that you can sit on the porch, you can look at all the bikes out there and then somebody, come look at my pipes. But they can look at it from the inside where they can have a beer or a Coke or whatever they want. Or they can leave that and they can walk out and they can point out there's a Vance and Hines or whatever it is on his exhaust pipes or his heads or his compression release. Or, you know, and everybody enjoys that, showing off what they, do, what they did during the winter or what they had done. And so it's just it's fun. So you have a campground there? We have a campground and we have a motel, a saloon. We have a big uh, courtyard out back. Okay. The uh, campground is tents or RVs or all it, the It's above? all. It's, it's a full service campground with a lot of sites that just have every pull throughs. You can bring big campers up there because I've also, you know, been camping with my old school bus, but now I've got a big camper, and uh, I just wanted to make it that, that was like the better places that I've seen. You you know there. There are not many reasons for me to go to Maine, but this may be one of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope, I hope we can convince you to come up. <laughs> you know, it, I, I, I can just about guarantee you'll have a good time. I, I totally believe that. <laughs> so, how, how big is the saloon? Um, we, we can have, we, we've been restricted. We just got that all behind us last restricted year. Restricted again? Yeah, they restricted <laughs> us to 100, no, yeah, 180 people. 
it was just a town ordinance that they enforced, and it was kind of, it was, it was sort of a wrong thing to do, but legally it was the right thing, I guess, because it was that's what the word was written on the planning board thing, and we uh, got that changed through a vote, and uh, the town, the town's people came 68 percent for us and 32 against, which was fantastic. I mean, no, I, I didn't expect it to even. I didn't even expect us to win, but we've we've done a lot of good things. I think in town, we we've got a lot of good friends in town and that, that really like us and like the place, and we just tried to, like I said, make it a place that everybody enjoys going to. So it evidently did. So tell me, <clears throat> um, tell me where this is for for people that are thinking about coming to see you that live in Iowa. Give us a, some landmarks around Maine that. Okay, well, Everybody's heard of Kenny Bunkport because George Bush Sr. and we're three miles from his house. We're in Arundel, Maine, but at Rundle, Kenny Bunkport used to be a Rundle, if I'm not mistaken, years ago, 100 years ago, or something like that. But we're in Arundel, Maine, which is right on Route 1, right off of Route 95, and that's 25 miles into Maine. So, did the, any of the Bushes ever come to the saloon? No, but we have a run for a person that was a very good friend of his that got killed on a motorcycle. Not as it's just a very weird accident. A tree fell, a branch fell off a tree, and um, this Herb Noble was a good friend of mine. Got killed on his bike. There were about eight people, and just hit one person. And he was a good friend of George Bush's and Barbara Bush. And so we have a run for the uh, Barbara Bush Children's Hospital every year that his son uh, puts on Herb Noble. Well, I think the Bushes should come visit. You know. <laughs> Well, we would love them to, but it's kind of, it's, it's a little bit controversial, you know, for them to come, but I think if they came, they'd enjoy it. I totally agree. I would want not want anything to be non-controversial around you. <laughs> I think that's true. So, let's talk a little bit about Daytona Bike Week, okay? Yep. You said you're having a good time. Yep. Right? And you said that it has changed. Oh, yeah. Um, what about the town? I mean, are, are the town people, are they seem friendly to you? Yeah, the, the, the town's well people are nice. They seem to be. I mean, it's just the law enforcement's changed so much because they have to, because of all the bureaucrats and all the government regulations, and they have to be more strict than they used to be. So it's taken some of the pizzazz or some of the fun out of it, like I said, with the girls and the guys and just people having a good time. If you come to Bentley's, and I'm not boisterous and I, I don't like to brag, but I, I just think anybody that does come there, the majority of people that come there, actually I think everybody I've spoken with said they had a great time. And that's, you know, and I'm not, I don't like to be boisterous, I don't like to be blowing <clears throat> smoke up my butt or something like that, but it just seems like everybody does really enjoy themselves when they come to Bentley's Saloon. Well, I'll tell you, I've had a good time talking to you. So thank you, Bentley, and we'll see you on the flip side. <laughs>